Hello and welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Terraform R Solo Challenge. Looking forward to like an update. Oh, this is Oh never, never mind, neutral player. Um good stuff, good stuff. Potential city start here as uh, is, is fine. We don't have any energy that I know of, but standard technology is obviously huge. And all of this is really good in so many ways. Is there there's not a great place for that urbanized area, perhaps through here. I'm not really sold on that being the best, but it's fine. Imagine if the card we got from that would have been like Media Group or something though. That would have been a card that would have elevated this start out of the gate. So let's just do a couple of easy peasy things. Maybe get a little bit of heat income and we're looking for energy couple of things already that could go well with energy otherwise we're just kind of chilling we could um, get standard technology and then buy energy for eight dollars as a standard project and that's actually pretty good especially with this coming up here it's just hard to like implement and do because you need the eleven dollars straight out but let's grab this. Let's hire raiders for $3. We don't break even on it, but it's fine. Then we power plant. We get money back, and that allows us to get more steel production. And we're going to probably do another power plant uh, next turn, and potentially even the turn after that. So power plant, and then this time urbanized area, because it pays us back in a couple of different ways that we like. Um, I could draw a card. I'm going to wait one more turn before doing that. Earth office. And fusion power. Now that's tricky because we have no energy tags. But fine. Heat bump it is. Natural preserve. Alright, now let's go for the card. Er, wait a second. We don't have two earth tags, right? No. Okay. So let's go for the card draw. And energy. Let's go for the energy then. And the heat production. Because that's going to get 7 heat production. I mean, that's not going to get us anything next gen. But then we're, we're coming. We're on the right side. Some ocean is good. Oxygen bumping is nice. But whatever, man. I'm passing on it. I don't. It's fine. Let's get some more steel. We could buy an energy income, but we don't have to. Let's pass with money one more time. Um, ice asteroid and then a bunch of energy production. We love it. We love it. And our heat production is coming up as well. What's the most important? I think we should keep drawing cards. So if we place this ocean over here and then one here... Psychrophiles is very good. That'll get us some money towards plant tags, which we know we want. I'm going to play this bad boy now, and let's get a little bit of energy income that doesn't come with a cost of money. And honestly, if I play the other card, then we'll have two energy tags played. And that'll get us in a good spot. Because then we can play our last energy tag that we have in our hand here fusion power could be good could be nice um let's go ahead and place a city here's fine um what about productions is there a production we want to copy potentially a titanium production it's not super aligned with our strategy but Honestly, I think the heat production. I'd like to just make sure we don't have to worry about heat. And almost forgot to get the microbe. Algae and kelp farming. I think to me that means that we should just be getting those oceans down. A-S-A-P. Yeah. So if we play this bad boy here. And then next turn... 
Nah, see, like, I don't want a standard project for oceans, because that's still not that hot. I think we still play it slow, get a little bit more energy coming in. The heat's going to go gangbusters. The oxygen has a long way to go, but with trees, we're feeling better. And even, honestly, magnetic shield. Don't crater could be worth some points, and we're not close to hitting our limit yet, so. Let's take it. I'm looking at this spot for later on. It's also good. This is also just fine. I was thinking later on, but like, it's good just to play it. Now, do I have two cards that I'm willing to sell? I don't think we're ever really going to want the immigration shuttles, but everything else I like. Well, Space Hotels is too late. Even with Earth Office, it's kind of bad. Um, so that means that I'm just going to magnetic shield right now. Get us some plant income that we really, really need. Even with standard technology, we're like a little behind now, I would argue. And I can't be looking for those city points anymore. So, heat bump, heat bump. We're so close to a couple of things. If I could just get those, those oceans down, but like, ugh. I'll get one down, but that's still not quite enough to get to algae. And I could play it, but I may as well play trees first. Oh, I didn't use the freaking thing. Oh my god, I literally have $10. And then I could have bought an ocean. But I clicked too fast. It's fine, our, our generation 12 is going to be really good. We don't need this. Our science is high enough for that. And tundra farming is, is fine. It's fine. So what are we for uh, plant tags? One. Okay, bear with me. We get the ocean down. We place in the pocket for maximum money. We play mass converter. Play algae. Now, kelp farming is really good but if i just play if i just play tundra farming then i can play this bad boy and let's let's double check because i've screwed this up before three plant tags so this means four income and honestly i can pretty well still buy an ocean but i can't get seven dollars kelp farming so that's fine but look at this we're in a pretty good spot we have two generations to go lots of plants coming in commercial district i mean there are placements for two points do like shuttles hmm Hmm. Is this bad? Like this is this is fine, but like should I just be buying basic basic greeneries here? I might be, honestly. Cuz we we have a long way to go and a short time to get there. And we got to do what they say can't be done if I grabbed two plants we would have another greenery this gen as well it just doesn't seem to line up so let's pass it's a long we have so many plants though we have three greeneries this is a space event that's going to make us happy It'll get us money towards a plant tag. I think you play this first, right? And then... We play the farming. And we're gonna probably caretaker contract, but... We could've... 
We need oceans, right? Like, that's kind of the... The trickiest part here. So, you ocean, ocean. We still need an ocean. But at least we're getting thick cash back. And if I buy a greenery... I can't buy a greenery for two plants, eh? Aquifer for a cart. Well, that's that's really ironic, considering the fact that. Well, considering a couple of different facts, to be honest. Um, but I think that we can win this if we place a greenery here, and then the commercial district that y'all thought was a mistake for this plant. And then, just as easy as one, two, three, baby, you and me. So we play this bad boy, heat bump that, trans Neptune probe, and 10 bucks left to do nothing with it. I wish we had more cities, but what can I say? Just didn't not work out that way. Game is over. 63 TRs, 16 greeneries, 14... I mean, still over 100 points, just because Tharsis is so good if you can just get some stuff going. But I didn't expect how much energy we have at the end. I could have got an extra point out of a couple of different things. But I had a good time. I hope you did too. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.